guys, before this video starts, can you just do me a favor and smash that like button? Try to get this to 50,000 likes, please. Thank you. Enjoy. What's up, everybody? Today I'm talking about measuring coastlines. All right. Measuring coastline. Seems simple enough, right? Well, it's very hard to gain an accurate measurement of coastline. The reason for this is the coastline paradox. The coastline paradox is how the measurement of a coastline all depends on what size rule you use. For example, I have here, right? right? You see how big the ruler is and how it doesn't hug the inlets and stuff? And then this one, this one's very close and has all the inlets, right? You're going to get different measurements. Here's the scale at the bottom to see that. All right, that's very important, all right? Many people have been trying to figure out this paradox of measuring coastlines since the 5th century BC. Now, that's a long time ago. Alright, the paradox revealed itself in a mysterious way in 1951. The circumstances were trying to figure out the measure of two countries. If they could not agree on the terms, there would be war. A mathematician was given this task. Louis Fry Richardson, very important name, make sure you know that. Uh, is the person who had the task. He saw that the numbers did not add up when trying to gather the data. He was amazed at this discovery and decided to take a closer look. Richardson discovered something very important, that it was not only the coastlines that were variable, but if you had a short enough measuring stick, the coastline was infinitely long. Now, how does that even make sense? Like, right, 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 right? Look, look, like, it can't be infinitely long. It's obvious, it's right here, right? Now you might ask, is there a solution, is there a formula to find the coastlines? Now there are these things called fractal dimensions. And what a fractal dimension is, it's a solution to the coastline problem. Although, it is an estimate, it is the most accurate. And that's what we're looking for, right? We want the most accurate. Fractal dimensions, however, are quite confusing. To find the dimension, the approach is similar to geometric fractals. We will see the measurement change with different scales. All right, we got our pen and paper here. We're all ready to rock and roll. All right. In order to do this correctly, you will have to find the perimeter with the rulers that have different lengths. So we know from our handy dandy little map here, these are the different lengths of the rulers, right? All right. In order to be consistent so your data follows the same principles, we will pick a variable to define the magnification, which would be the inverse of the ruler slash measuring stick length. The formula for the measure of a cosine dimension is as follows. So we have d equals log n slash log r. Alright, with the N resembling the perimeter and the R representing the magnification, the fractal dimension D, right, right here, is just the slope of the coastline you draw, which you could graph. So we're going from a slope like this to a slope like. The lower the dimension, the straighter and smoother the coastline. So you have a nice straight and smooth coastline right here. The higher the dimension, the more jagged and wiggly the coastline is. So we see here. So. Alright, so back to our beautiful picture that will never go away. This little map coastline thing right here. Alright, this is Great Britain actually. So if the coastline of Great Britain is measured using units of 100 kilometers, then the length of the coastline is approximately 2,800 kilometers. With 50 kilometer units, the total length is approximately 3,400 kilometers. Approximately 600 kilometers more. So, you can see how off you can get. I apologize for the air conditioner in the background. I get kind of hot in here. Alright, anyway. Euclidean distance. Euclidean distance uh, is a straight line represents the shortest distance between two points. Uh, something that, how they draw it out is, so we got a little line here. Yeah, a little. This is also followed up and it has like 
This represents the other line. But don't get confused with the other line because it's still just one line. This video up. I just want to go over the things that we know. Alright. So, to find a coastline is not going to be 100% accurate. Not 100% accurate. So, in other words, the whole thing is an estimate. Estimate. Right? Now your best method to find your best estimate to find for the cosine would be using a fractal, which we went over. So that is really the vital keys of information that we need to take away from the cosine paradox, which trips a lot of people up. Alright guys, thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end of this video. Hope you get all your quiz answers right. Uh, now I just want to reward you guys with some pictures of some beautiful coastlines that aren't mine. They're, I do not own them for copyright reasons.